Hey guys, what's up? Kesley here for another video, and welcome back to Paper Mario Sticker Star episode number 7 this time. In the previous episode, we got, uh, well, pretty much the most out of World 1 done. And in this episode, we're going to be taking on Goomba Fortress. Not to spoil anything, you're going to be seeing it in this episode. But it is the, well, not house, but it is home of the boss of this area. So without any further ado, how about we go uh, confront him? One thing that I, you know, really... Didn't know at the time, uh, well, playing this. Well, on my first playthrough, actually, if I hammer these Goombas, yes, there we go. Um, well, I'm not quite sure how this works. I, well, I'm guessing that whenever you go, um, well, further into an area or something, or if you have like more stickers to you, I, I mean, more pages to your album, uh, you. M there are going to be a lot of times where some enemies are going to be defeated, you know, with a, with a strike of your hammer, which is pretty awesome. It saves a lot of time. But, um, all right, here, this is the first video that I saw from Game Explain. Shout out to him. Uh, the first Paper Mario video that I saw from him. Actually, the day that I knew that, he, well, that uh, he got the uh, game early, this was the first video that he put up. Uh, it was the, you know, the, the Goomba Fortress and these bob you know, just uh, flying towards us. And this is actually a really, really easy chapter. And the boss, believe it or not, is actually maybe the second most difficult boss of the entire game. <laughs> I am not kidding when I say that. Well... Uh, I, I do have to, I, I mean, I do have a couple of things to talk about in this episode while, uh, well, first of all, let me go ahead and check this out. There is a pretty useless sticker in here, no room in the album. The first thing that you want to do is um, press this, well, not press, but I hit this thing twice. You want to go over here, hammer this wall, there's going to be a hidden path, well, not path, but a hidden room containing a shiny jump. Uh, now, let me see, I do want to ditch some, uh, something for that, which will be a hop slipper. There we go. Actually, in the comments, <laughs> one of you guys said, it. <laughs> well, that is actually Hop Slipper. But, um, yeah, one of the things that I wanted to talk about in, in this uh, episode is how easy this game is, first of all. I, uh, on my main file, I am already, well, I could already, uh, well, fight the, oh, and by the way, here's what you want to do in this part. You go paper mode and you are going to have to sacrifice uh, well, either sacrifice or grab one of the, uh, I mean, two of these stickers, which are going to be available here. I'm not really worried about my hop slipper stickers, whatever, so go ahead and stick some more. Um, now let me see. Huh. I think I'm going to go ahead and, you know, just uh, stick another hop slipper in there. So... Yeah, on my main file, I can already go and uh, face the final boss. I'm pretty sure you guys know who he is, but <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm, uh, you know, I'm just not like that. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm already up to the final boss right now. I am uh, grabbing just everything I am missing. I am on, a, uh, on an HP up hard hunting and by the way one thing that you want to go over, uh, well do is actually hit these things is going to re to reveal hidden uh, thingies and, you know this is just to show you uh, I don't really have a good use for that one but uh if we actually hit this thing there's I, I don't think there's actually anything in here but uh if there's anything in paperizable mode I'm, I'm I don't really care about it um in here there's going to be another uh sack oh no 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 so what you want to do over here is lure the bombs into well, the the exploring it. Well, not exploring. You want to lure them into this railings, and you know that is going to be making. Oh Jesus Christ! That is going to be uh, opening a path to the. Now let me see if we can actually lure one of them over here. Uh, come on, there. Oh Jesus Christ. Um. But yeah, continue with what I was talking about. Uh, I'm gonna use my. Now that's actually a bit too much. I'm gonna use the shiny pal. So. Yeah, I mean, I can already phase a final boss, but I'm actually doing some, uh, you know, some hunting. The first thing that I have to say is that I already have 100% in all the HP up badges. It's actually really, really easy. One thing that I do have to say is that most of the of the HP up uh, badges or whatever, uh, I mean, HP up hearts, most of them can be fa uh, found in World 3, which is actually a little weird. I mean, I think 
four or even five of them are in World 3, which is actually a little bit crazy. I mean, the diversity with the HP up thingies are not, you know, it's not that great. Right here, you want to go paper mode. You might notice that this thing is, um, well, phased the, the wrong way. You can actually take this off the, you know of the screen whatever uh you want to go paper mode again and you want to place it the correct way so if we can actually yeah uh, there we go uh so yeah all the hp up thingies are done right now i am uh really really close to uh, completing all the secret door thingies um you know i'm not gonna spoil it but uh you know the blue doors that appear in the um in the trailers whatever i think i'm i only have like six or seven to go and i also have to do i also have to complete my my sticker uh, well the sticker museum find all the things and that will be really cool I, I i already have all the luigi's i already have um well obviously all the royal stickers <laughs> right here you can actually defeat this goomba just by jumping on him i want to go ahead and take this uh slab hammer if we do this i think there's some poison mushrooms somewhere around here um now let me see i think there is a hidden block somewhere around here let me see if i can actually there we go so it's it's only a like a poison mushroom it's not that you know important actually but uh Oh, yeah, another thing that I wanted to talk about. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much done talking about the... And by the way, here's another thing that you can collect. is the trumpet. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is that, uh, as I said in, in, in the previous episode, and I actually got a good response out of this, is that on weekends there's going to be a double episode because I... To be quite honest, I think the series is going <laughs> a little bit slow. And I think two episodes on, you know, both Saturday and Sunday are going to be helping the series really, really much. And, um, I mean, I, I think it's only been like seven or eight minutes into the, into the video. And we're already up to the final boss. So, I'm going to go ahead and check my stickers to see if everything is, you know, just pretty cool. Okay, pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, if you hop over here, you're going to be faced. <laughs> There's a Goomba with a nice crown looking sticker, the, which is a royal sticker. Shine ya! Uh, she, we, uh, we meet Mario. Here I turn to confetti and scatter you to the winds. Take this! And Kirsty, that shine! Uh, Mario, uh, uh, look, that sticker on his head. That's a royal sticker. Hey, you crazy bumbling loon? Uh, yeah, loon. Give me back that sticker. <laughs> you noisy, unsparkly, unshiny girl. Bowser entrusts this amazing sticker to us, not you. And with the power of a shiny sticker, we get pumped. We wow, you can't battle on your own. That's pretty weak. Shiny, sh shiny, dazzly, do these mounty stickers too much for you. And we are faced with not one, not two, not three, but a great amount of 16 Goombas. How threatening is that? <laughs> oh, so, you know, shiny, whatever. I, you know, I'm pretty happy that we're already up at the final, well, not the final, <laughs> but uh, the first boss. I'm going to go ahead and stomp this thingy in. Now let me see if we get a coin. Yeah, triple coin. There we go. Pretty awesome. So... I actually don't think I'm going to be able to do much damage to these things. I mean, now let me see. Uh, I'm not really worried about, you know, these things. So I'm going to go ahead and see if uh, the the triple hop. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's not going to do, a, a, you know, a whole lot of damage. But uh, okay, so all right, boys, time for a real deal. This is what they're going to do. They're going to be forming a four by four square. And they're going to be making a giant mega sparkle Goomba. I think that's uh, how he is. Uh, well, how he's official to go. One, two, three, three. I'm pretty sure I got that right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Oh geez, block, awesome block for three for only three damage. And now he's going to be doing the cone thingy. Uh, yeah. Wow, I got it right. That's a mega sparkle Goomba. So, one thing that I told you guys to bring your thing stickers is that it is going to be making the battle a whole lot better. The first thing I want to do is go ahead and spin again, see if we can actually get, um, let me see, 
Oh, jeez, I thought we actually had it. We were only one away from the triple uh, mushroom, but uh, one thing I want to go ahead and do is use the fan sticker, and then I'm going to be using the scissor sticker. Now, a really big tip that I, maybe you guys already knew is that if you actually press A, well, uh, I only spam the A button, but if you actually press A at the correct time, or if you spam it, you're going to do a whole more, you're going to do a lot more damage when you actually use the, these uh, thing stickers. So, I mean, right now I'm just spamming the A button, and, you know, to be honest, I'm not quite sure of when it exactly, I mean, nice, great. Excellent. That is, you know, that's pretty much what you want to do. You don't need timing. You only need to spam the buttons. And I, you know, that's one thing that I didn't know until, okay, so 18. And, okay, there we go. I thought it was going to be doing more damage. Because, well, to be quite honest, uh, you know, it's been so long since I uh, defeated this boss in my main file. So, a whole 30 damage. And uh, you can already see how easy this boss is. Because, well... Only, now let me see, ooh, nice block, nice block, and I think we're only, <laughs> oh, he's already done, so now let me see, A pal, another pal, oh, jeez, I think we also were one away from the pal, but, um, yeah, to finish things off, I'm gonna go ahead and use a faucet, and how about we, I'll use the catalog to end things off. So for the faucets, you you know the same thing. You all you want to spam the eight button, and now let me see. So I'm I'm, I'm not really sure how, when to press it, but it's actually nice, great, and excellent. I think that's going to be doing eighteen da oh thirty damage. Uh, but I think he's going to have one HP left. Now let me see. Uh, she come on, boys. Yeah, so this is what I was thinking about. Uh, you know, when you def when you completely defeat him, uh, he's actually going to uns uh, unscramble or unforming into the tiny Goombas. They're, the 15 pieces are going to retreat, and only the king or the leader or whatever is going to be left. So this is why you want to have your uh, leftover sticker or whatever. And let's finish things off with style. Boom. One, two, and three. That poor thing is no more. Mm, uh, this is one thing that really annoys me. Hey, you managed to win the uh, day, but you sure used a lot of stickers. This is one thing that I'm not sure what to do. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. So the bosses are really easy, but I'm not sure what the you know perfect strategy for this is. I, I mean, I know you have to use the thing stickers, but... I'm not quite sure of what the strategy is, although they were really, really easy. So, yeah, I just don't like when Kirsty says, yeah, you could have, I mean, you sure used a lot of stickers. I mean, come on, we already beat the boss of this area. Don't nag about it. So, yeah, now that the Mega Sparkle Goomba is, is beat, the Royal Stickers, uh, since it was stalking a Goomba, he got its power. But the question is, did it get stuck by accident, or did someone put it there on purpose? Well, anyway, as I just uh, saw, Royal Stickers harbor on a uh, Royal Sticker uh, <laughs> harbor untold power. I told you that the dialogue is really difficult to read. Whatever <laughs> from you know the, the, the position I'm on. Another one of them stickers is, you know, to another enemy, he'll go sparkle crazy too. He'll be a glit glitter tastifer or catastrophe, whatever. Oh, so I just go a little sparkle crazy myself, there it there and I. Well, let's put the royal sticker back on the album. And I well I got a suggestion from one of you uh, I mean this suggestion from one of you guys to actually say end of chapter whenever we get a royal sticker, and I am really, really happy with that decision. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and say officially for the first time. That with the first royal sticker in hand. We have an end of chapter. Pretty awesome. And after, well, I think I'm going to read this with my narrator voice. <clears throat> A sticker fluttered down from the sky. Excited Goombas cheer from on high. S uh, Sixteen sheets became one bad guy. 
In the end, they split and went bye-bye. So yeah, I mean, these things are actually not like the end of chapters for previous Paper Mario, obviously. And by the way, when collecting a new royal sticker, we get a new page added to our album, which is going to be holding a lot more stickers, which is really awesome. Saving. And as for right now, uh, as for what we can do right now, we have pretty much completed every single thing that we can do in World 1. I think I missed like a big shiny one up that, you know, is somewhere around in between 1-1 one, one and 1-3. One, but I'm not really worried about that. We're going to be getting one of those in a later episode. And now let me see, is there anything else I would like to do? I'm not quite sure, but, um, well, it's surely been a nice episode. We got, um... Well, we got into, we get another world done, and in the next one, it's going to be even cooler because we're going to be getting um, you know world two one complete. So yeah, I think so far one world per episode is going really nice. As for right now, I, there's like three in, in, in between three and five worlds where you know they would need like a two or even three part episode because they are really long. Trust me. Um, but, um, yeah, I think that's for right now. If you guys have watched the episode until now, and if you enjoyed, a like and a comment would be really appreciated. Favorite this video if you would like to watch it again. Subscribe if you want to watch more videos like this, and like my Facebook page, and follow me on Twitter to be notified in the precise moment that a video is uploaded. So, without any further ado, you guys have a great day. Take care of yourselves, and until my next episode, when we get to explore the desert area and world 2-1, I will see you then. If we hit this tree, so check this out. I'm not really sure how these things are called, like a gold Gerber, Goldberg machine or whatever, but they actually got a lot, you know, really, really creative with this one.